Hey everyone, so I wanted to go over my very first impressions on day one about Terry Bogar, how I think he should be played, what I think is good, what I think is bad, some kill confirms, and overall just give you as much information as I can in as little time as possible, really. With that said, let's just get started. For starters, Terry Bogar has the exact same mechanic that Ryo and Ken have, that he'll always face the opponent automatically. This means that if your opponent, for whatever reason, rolls behind you or tries to jump behind you, all you really have to do is just drop your defense or just kind of just let your character just take over. And then at that point in time, he'll already turn around and you can input your move. This pretty much makes you completely immune to all types of cross-ups. So don't ever worry about your opponent rolling behind you and trying to mess you up. This can be a huge benefit to avoid that completely, but it can also be annoying. For example, if you want to stand and face your back to your opponent to at least run away or do some more defensive play or at the same time you can also just like turn around and then do a back here you kind of have to always just move backwards or just like slam the stick for a roar which is reverse aerial rush and then that way you can input a back here so you're kind of just i will say a little more restricted in terms of that movement not entirely you can still fix it with good tech movement but this is one of the many things that where terry will force you to pretty much learn more advanced techniques so then you can use them properly essentially the second mechanic you will have to understand is the fact that terry can cancel his moves into specials now i will go into more details later on in this video about this but the main guess is that if you can pretty much cancel all throughout a lot of different moves not all of your moves there's some clear exceptions where you cannot for example if you land a smash attack you cannot really just cancel it into an up b or something like that whereas if you do it from a jab you can definitely cancel that into a b for example there's areas like forder where no matter how much i mash to try to cancel it it does not come out but if i do it from neutral or down air it works out first try now it will be very important for you to get used to what moves you can cancel what moves you cannot cancel so i definitely recommend experimenting with that simply because if you have knowledge of what moves you can cancel and into what things you can cancel then you can do obviously do way more damage with this character because he's meant to have traditional kind of fighting game combos kind of like Rion ken so you're pretty much forced to try to do continuation combos by canceling moves so it's a mechanic that you will have to learn one way or another the third mechanic that's really important is the fact that terry has actual input commands for his specials now a lot of his commands are actually pretty complex i will say uh, in terms of like generally smash characters you could usually just press a and b in the direction that's enough for you to do a move but for example just take a look at some of these specials right here you have to do quite a few inputs it's mainly just quarter circles circles or just uh down left down right if you want to simplify it as well it does take a lot to get used to and personally for me i'm not really very good with these kind of characters simply because i never really played fighting games in general i'm actually just a smash player <laughs> i'm sorry but i do want to say that if you want to optimize this character you're gonna have to really take a, a look at these commands now you can still do them the smash way which is just like side b and all that or down b or whatever but all these moves have an input command that when done correctly, they will do more damage, have added effects such as invincibility and other things. So, or for example, add more range. There's a whole lot of variations that doing the right input command will do, and you absolutely have to master them. Now, if you have any questions as to what command you have to input, then it's all within training mode. You can just go in training mode, you press the Z button, and then boom, just like that, you can come up with the whole list for all the characters that Terry's uh, is pretty well explained. Now, between the moves that I really recommend learning, simply because I feel like they are absolutely necessary. Now, the command inputs for the super special moves are absolutely mandatory. Both Power Geyser and Buster Wolf are absolutely busted. So you definitely want to make sure you're very comfortable with those commands. And then I really recommend getting used to Power Dunk and Rising Tackle, simply because you will use those a lot in neutral. Now, let's take a look at his individual moves. Just like kind of just give you some couple thoughts of, about every little move. Now, we're not going to go into super deep on every single move because this character is very complex, but I do want to keep it simple. Now, one trend you will notice with a lot of uh, Terry's moves is that they all do quite a bit of damage. For example, he's down is just 20 damage. But now, keep in mind that the percentages are going to be slightly different simply because of training mode being a little wanky. So just be mindful of that. But in general, you will notice the trend that a lot of his moves just simply do a lot of damage, especially when you do actual combos. The character can really just shine. For example, let me showcase to you a very simple combo, which is simply going to be down and up B. Oh, well, I mean, we could just side B out of that, too. <laughs> but as you can see, it does 41% damage. Like, very simple two-hit combos, pretty much. Like, I'm sure the optimization of this guy is going to go way further. You can do a whole lot of damage. Now, let's move on with his jab. Now, the most important thing about his jab is that this is mainly not going to be a move that you're really going to ever finish. Like, 
pretty much there's no point in really finishing the whole jab combo simply because after the one or two hit you can then cancel this into a special which will do more damage than finishing the jab combo and then you can set this up into kills or combos or just kill setups as well there's a lot of very interesting things you can do out of this and i really recommend just kind of just messing around in training mode jabbing twice and then trying to input different commands both true input commands and non true input commands so then you can kind of get a handle of what works what doesn't and that's going to be a general trend you're going to do a lot with terry you're going to kind of just do random moves and then just see how they feel with different cancellations and different combos and also to find out which moves you can cancel of course but i will say your jab is mostly going to be your best combo confirm at a low percent simply because you can combo this from an aerial such as neutral or down air and then that does a lot of damage for very easy very simple combo but it will get you rightly started the right way on neutral which is very important moving on to his tilt now down tilt once again is going to be another one of those tools where you can duck under and then you can combo something into it you can also combo down tilt into up tilt which can be very helpful now keep in mind you don't want to do that against characters like Christina who have very quick out of shield options or quick um, mid-air options like a B so then they can actually break free of these combos because they're not like super finicky true but like if your opponent doesn't really expect it or you catch him as a mix-up you can definitely do down tilt up tilt now down tilt doesn't have that much range in particular it's not actually a very good move in general it's just the main case is that it's a low move that you can cancel that's pretty much really what you have to take it for up tilt however is actually a mason move not only is it a great anti-air with a lot of range but it's also the fact that this move has quite a bit of forward range but most importantly, this move is actually going to be one of your main kill confirms. Now, one mechanic that I haven't really gone too much on detail is the fact that while Terry does have input commands, he also has the super specials, which get triggered when he is at 100% or higher. Now, in stamina mode, I believe it is one third of his total HP, but we play with stocks and percentages. Those percentages is what matters here. Now, one thing that's super important here, Dan, I want you guys to understand is that one of the best combos that you can do with Terry that I found is that you want to connect I want to say between 60% plus depending on the weight, right? But the good thing about his up tilt is that no matter what percentage you have your opponent in, up tilt kind of just sends the same way. So that's Lucina at 160. Now let's see Lucina at 130. She still kind of goes the same direction. So like it almost seems like the, uh, like set knockback, but it's not. Um, it actually just increases very lowly because they just want you to combo off this move. But anyway, what we're going to do is that we're going to combo up tilt into power geyser remember the input for power geyser is down left down right now the way i'm gonna do it is that i'm gonna up tilt and as i'm doing the up tilt, i'm gonna input the move that way when i press down i don't fall through the platform now that's a true combo i don't think you can di out of this because that move has tremendous range in front of it so even if you were to di in front or away you will still get hit and even if you obviously you have no di then it's still gonna hit but regardless this move will kill starting at 60 percent for a lot of the cast now keep in mind lucina is a little lighter but if you are do this move against someone like pichu peach or any of the lighter characters you can definitely kill them around 50 percent and obviously if you're fighting a heavy character you can obviously do this combo at later percents like 80 90 or whatever this is one of the most ridiculous kill confirms and it's actually very powerful when people roll behind you because Terry will automatically turn around so if you wait for someone to just roll behind you like this you can just up tilt and then you will combo and that's about it but that's probably the main kill for frame i've been using with terry here in day one now forto is mainly going to be one of your poking tools you can't really angle it down or up at all the move does come out kind of quick but the main advantage with this move is that you can obviously cancel it and it does 15 damage you can combo that into side b and whatnot but i found the most useful use for this move i actually found is the fact that you can combo this move with one of your super specials which is actually very very strong so we're gonna put lucina around 60 percent now we're gonna put lucina around here she doesn't even have to be towards the towards the edge she could be even towards the middle now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna t obviously practice the buster wolf input which is kind of for me it's really awkward to do it without moving which is why i recommend buffering these moves while you're doing another attack which makes it so you don't waste moving around because when you do these inputs with the stick you'll just end up moving around in place a lot and that's really annoying for me so just make sure you do them while you're doing the other attack so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fourth kill and then immediately mash and cancel that into the wolf as you can see that actually just kills now i'm pretty sure this is the kind of combo that you can di out of as in like you can hold up or down and then force the tech or they go into the air and then it doesn't grab and also this move is actually well as powerful as it is and as much damage as it does 
it actually has pretty much no shield damage whatsoever so you don't want to spam that but i still think it's pretty crazy the fact that you can literally combo portal into that and catch an opponent off guard now if you're wondering how to land this move consistently i found one easy way is to go into backer and then into portal however you want to do this backer at very low percentage and when i mean low percentage i mean pretty much zero Now that's pretty much a combo that you can do for around 60 damage and it's relatively easy and because Lucina kind of just slides from the fourth tail, it kind of prevents the problem of them DIing out. But I found this to be one of the probably the cheapest combos that you can do at 0%. Now keep in mind, I don't know how true this combo is. The combo counter counts as a true. I haven't had the time to test it with human opponents, but I think it is worth to look into backer fourth tail. Backer up tail confirms it may lead you to some really good damages and options. Now that we covered the tails, let's cover smash attacks really quick because there's not that much to say about them. To be honest with you, Terry's smash attacks are probably the moves I use the least. His down smash actually can be a really good tool to gimp certain characters. For example, like characters like Cloud or anybody that kind of just extends from the ledge uh, a little bit past it because they can't sweet spot the ledge that well. That down smash is actually really good at sniping those recoveries off. The angle is really unfortunate for them, so it works out pretty well. His four smash is actually very strong and it can kill extremely early. So that's probably your best smash attack right there, but it does have significant cooldown. It is rather slow, but it's not Gander slow either. So it is still a very good smash attack nonetheless. Up smash you can use as an auto shield option. It comes out pretty quick actually, and it has a good amount of range and easy sweet spot. So I think it's also a pretty good move, but I don't find myself using it that much simply because I will rather just up kill and then go into combos with it because it'll just do more damage. Like what would I up smash here? and do 22 damage when I can simply just up till up and I'll be like that'll do 35 damage for example just to show you that I can pretty much optimize the damage output now if I just want to sit here and optimize that's not a bad option at all either in terms of throws I find a lot of his throws to be kind of weird now up throw for me has been a decent combo tool as well you can definitely just up throw up and I'll be which seems to be rather consistent but then again if you miss you're kind of just in fastball Downer seems to work against certain opponents that are fast fallers or maybe big. You can kind of up throw and then you can move on from there with a B guaranteed combo. But generally, it seems to me that up throw seems easier to confirm into. And then down throw works if they DI in and you can just kind of just up B from there. So that's a little option that you have. Fourth throw and back throw are not really too special. Now keep in mind the low angle from side B here. If you do a true input side B, you can definitely uh, put the opponent into a spot where they will have to kind of just guess the invincible side B here. So that's probably your best bet. Same as back throw here, but they're mostly just positional throws but you, and you're going to be using down throw and up throw as your combo tool. Now let's talk about the main meat of potatoes here, which is going to be the special. And there's a lot to talk about. Now first, his projectile right here covers literally the whole screen. Now keep in mind, I'm going to show you just the normal variations first to kind of just get an idea. Now, first of all, you can shoot the neutral B either as a weak version or a strong version, which alters how the projectile comes out. Now, the important part about this projectile is that it forces the opponent to jump. It covers roll because even if they roll through it, you can still punish them because the move actually doesn't put Terry into much stun at all. And you can camp with the, this move straight up. This is definitely one of the better projectiles in the game. Definitely. Especially if you do the, uh, the correct uh, way of using it. One thing to note is also the fact that the strength of the move will be altered by either quick pressing the button or holding down the button, which is very valuable information to know as well. Now, in terms of his specials, personally for me, what I find really interesting is the fact that he has two side Bs. Generally, side Bs are all the same. You kind of just side B either left to right, and that's about it. But he gets away with having both a back side B and a front side B. Now, the front side B is actually pretty obnoxious to deal with, simply because not only does it have invincibility, it does also does a lot of damage and it straight up kills. And it is pretty much, I will say, the most unga boonga type of move that Terry has because you can kind of just mash it on a lot of scenarios and you can kind of just bulldoze through things. So definitely a move you want to get used to. You can use it pretty much to just cheapen out through a, a bunch of things, projectiles, you name it, it'll it'll come through. Then down B is amazing as either jumping in over a projectile, jumping it over a move, or if you want to just simply attack from above, it is pretty much one of your best options and it has a very powerful hitbox. And you can also combo this move from the ground as well. And it does a whole bunch of damage. So it's pretty much going to be your mix up. I will say the only problem with this move is that it does have a lot of cooldown on the way up. Now, I will say the problem with this move is that it kind of just, it has a predictable arc simply because you can't really control 
like you can't drift or anything like that so like if your opponent gets used to the range of the move they can always just punish it and that makes it kind of predictable so that's one problem and the other problem is that once terry is going up obviously he's open uh but the benefit to this move is that it actually doesn't have much lag at all so once you land you kind of just block which makes it a really good pressure tool and if you do the true input version of course you'll do more damage so that'll be even safer and in terms of his side b option back side b is actually crazy because if you're uh pressuring someone with like jab then you can just side b past them or you side b if you hit them and even if they block he goes through the shield and it's actually super safe like it's pretty much one of your main tools to uh do aggression and i think this is going to be one of his main tools in neutral because it's pretty much lagless you can just keep moving after that and then it allows for free pressure of a down to up to or whatever you name it it is one of his key moves in pressure for sure and it's also one of his main uh, main options to recover as well so back side b you're going to be using quite a bit whereas the traditional side b is more used to bulldoze through things this is more for like painless smooth pressure i will say so you have a mix of a really long range projectile very bulldoze mashy type of move to just go through uh, your opponent's hitboxes smooth pressure move and then the random mix up for spot dodges because this move does come out for a long time so you can pretty much catch spot dodges or just cross ups or just if your opponent refuses to jump can i just use this to cross them up as well so i say his whole tool kind of just relies on you um either making plays or forcing your opponent to play defensively so you're always going to be on the move with this character for sure now about his up b now keep in mind if you hold down for a little bit and then your b you'll do the input version of it which makes it rather easy to do now here's one thing that you have to understand if you normal up b it goes this far if you hold the up b it goes that far if you do true input version it goes the farthest it's actually very important for you to know because it'll help you not only just reach those platforms but very key is actually the fact that you can do this from shield now ken and ryu are not really able to do their true input shuriken from shield but terry can do his true input from his shield so for example if i'm holding here and i'll be or hold the button obviously i'll get the traditional abyss but if i hold down a little bit i can just angle my shield and then i'll be i actually get the true version from shield so that's actually very important because the damage output is a difference see that three to four percent does matter in the long term for sure and also very important is the fact that this move does have invincibility so you want to use it while recovering now keep in mind you can use this while recovering like that you know you've done it right when he does that little bit of flash right here. It has a distinctive sound to let you know that you did it right. Now, I say I pretty much covered all of his moves, a couple kill setups, and just overall the direction of the, his playstyle. And I just want to talk a little bit about his neutral, how to play. Now, Terry has an excellent backdash simply because if you press back like this, he just flows really smooth. I will say this is the kind of character that you want to play grounded for the most part, kind of like a fighting game character, really. I mean... I know it sounds like a meme at this point, but really, it makes the most sense. If you're pretty much just running left and right like this, you can control your opponent from stepping in. You can cover rolls much easier. You let yourself have uh, room. You can always outspace them with side B or down B for cross-ups, force, force them up to jump, but up till and whatnot. And then it just kind of allows his gameplay to flow a lot better. Now, the flow that I kind of noticed with him is that you kind of want to, in the beginning portions of the game, you kind of want to just land like a neutral air, an up air on a platform or even a downer so then you can do at least some type of combo like this for example in the beginning you want to have that little bit of 30 40 percent combo in the beginning then once they're in that mid range you can always just start like looking for up tilt to combo into which works really well at the mid percentage into the kill setup as well and if you have a super special then you're pretty much just looking for either four to up till zero to forty percent you look for neutral air upper and down there possibly jab and down tilt to find that early damage percentage then as we transition into mid percents we either start camping a little bit or we start looking for up tilt if we have super and finally when they're like above 60 to 70 percent we and we want to kill them if we have super we start fishing for up tilt or down tilt and so then we can or four tilt and so then we can get those super special confirms like i mentioned earlier or we start for example looking for something a little bit different maybe if you're really strong and to get a kill remember he's back here he's really really strong really like actually one of the stronger backers now now think about it it's not like cloud backer or something like that but it'll still kill someone at 80 percent uh over here as you can see that is pretty strong four smash and up smash are solid kill options and your up the other shield will eventually kill but it's not the strongest i do find that 
if I'm really struggling to get a kill at like 100 plus percent, you can always go for true input side B or true input down B, which will both kill roughly. So that is an option if you want to use the armor from those moves. Now that we're wrapped up his moveset, just to give you an idea of how good I think this character is. I think this character is really hard to tell simply because I think he's one of the hardest characters that's in ultimate right now, possibly the hardest. And because he's so difficult to play, I think none of us really understand this character. Like, I'll be honest with you, I can barely do input combos consistently simply because I'm not good with these, this archetype of character, so I don't really understand him that well. And then the other factor is that this character just has a lot of mechanics that, and it's just day one. So, like, none of us have mastered anything, so nobody really knows what is true, what is not, what's gonna, what's gonna stick, what's not gonna stick, what's the bread and butter of this character. But I'll tell you one thing. Generally, these characters that have a lot of mechanics, either you find the broken things quickly or you'll never find them because there are, right? And like, for example, as Rion and Rion Ken were really bad at the beginning and then they got buffed. I'm not sure if Nintendo will kind of understand what made them good and bad and maybe make Terry more of that. But this character has more gimmicks than Rion Ken for sure. So like in terms of option, he's more likely to be good. I don't think this character is mid tier because the character that has this many options should never be mid tier. He just has a couple cheap things that for me, kind of just eliminate him from mid-tier. I don't know if he's top-tier. Doesn't seem clear enough to me, but this character is definitely worth exploring. And if you're into more complicated characters, the Shotos or anything like that, then you'll certainly enjoy Terry. Now, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned for more content in this channel. Make sure to leave me a suggestion on what kind of videos you would like me to do on Terry, and I'll make sure to do that. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys around in the next video. Bye-bye.